it is a beautiful day in the neighborhood so I would love to do some things outside today hi my name is Kimmy and on this channel I do homemaking home refresh home reset decorating all those types of homemaking things and today we are going to be doing some projects around the outside and maybe a little bit on the inside so I'm just going to read off the list of ideas that I have that we could get to today I don't know that we're going to get to all of them but it is such a pretty day outside we just had basically two days of rain and then yesterday we had a storm we're fine I've got some boxes that kind of blown everywhere in the yard so I need to get those but other than needing to clean up the yard a little bit we're good here so hopefully y'all made it through too I know it was pretty rough in some areas so hopefully you're all good but we have some oval shaped or yeah raised beds that we can put together um I I could try to work on this door frame behind me it is um sometimes it gets water in it if it rains really heavy so it has created a little bit of mold so it would be really nice if I could get that taken care of um it's not something I'm skilled in, so that's why I'm putting it off, but I just need to get in there and do it. So maybe we'll get to that today. I don't know. Um, I have a steering wheel cover I need to put on the steering wheel. Clean up the boxes in the yard. That is top priority. Um, there is a rug that I got, and I'm pretty sure it's going in my office, so we'll do that. I have some hanging baskets I would like to get um, in the front yard and I can go ahead and get those um, hooked up you know where they go I have some floor vents that need to be sanded and repainted because they are rusty and just honestly probably dangerous to walk on so uh, well we don't really walk on them but you know what I mean want to get that done that's something I would really like to do today we do have a shelf that we can build and then also I need to donate that dress that I decluttered and there's already two or three bags of stuff in the back of my car so Erin and I are actually about to go somewhere and when we do that I'll just go ahead and donut donate those things why do I want to say donut also I want to have more balance in my work and I definitely get stuck in this like hustle mentality where I feel like everything needs to be fast um, so today we're gonna try something a little bit different and we're going to just go with the flow kind of just go at a, a normal healthy pace <laughs> and um, have more like a real time footage in this video so like what we're doing right now not as much sped up like boom 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 that kind of thing so we'll see how it goes give me your feedback down below let me know if you if you like this version better or you want to see this more often included with the rest that we normally do i would love to hear it from you so long list of things odds are we're gonna get three things done <laughs> all right so the first thing i'm doing is putting this steering wheel cover on the steering wheel i don't know how easy or difficult this is gonna be let's hope that i can get it on let's get it on ah, let's get it on oh by myself and not have to recruit Erin. All by myself. I'm gonna be. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. But I never even thought to like do this um, as a way to like protect your steering wheel from the sun. And ours is black, so it, it attracts the sun, the heat, absorbs all that heat. 
Okay. Do they make this easy to do? Is there an easier way to do this? What if I put it like this first, so where it's on the inside? Aaron is done. <laughs> he did open the door and he had this big grin on his face because he already knows. <laughs> he already knows that I am fighting with this thing. <laughs> Get it off. All right. This is where I'm at. I've got it all around here. But. I don't know y'all. I don't know if it's going to make it. I'm thinking about trying it on errands. To see if it's just the size. Because it looks like it will fit. When you do it like that. But then when I'm putting it on. This steering ball is huge. Mr. Aaron right there says, no, I can get it to fit. I'll do it. So, we'll see. I'll update y'all. If he gets it on, you'll know because I'll show you in the next clip. All right, y'all. It took fortitude and strength. <laughs> but we got it. And we stretched it out as much as we could. It's on. Yeah, they're made tight so they don't slide, but yeah. this one does not really stretch. <laughs> it's nice though. <laughs> my little kitty next thing I'm gonna do is get this picked up I had a box blow over somewhere I need to find it and then our little recycling thing that we had fell over I just need to get this all straightened up because we've got boxes hi Lucy I got it over here, but my box kind of opened up in the middle, so I'm trying to think of what I'm going to do. I'm just going to start transferring stuff to the box. 
that are still dry. This one's been outside, so it's wet. bedroom because Karen is actually putting a cabinet together or a shelf in our living room so I wanted him to have a lot of space but I also wanted a comfortable spot to put these pots together I cannot wait to put them together so I can show y'all what they're gonna look like so I'm gonna go ahead and do this I'm gonna get them unpackaged and then I'm gonna start building them no way that is awesome these planters come with a screwdriver what? and a lot of screws look i went to go get one and now i have another one so i'm gonna use the one it came with okay y'all they also came with a pair of gloves i don't know if i'm gonna wear the gloves but they do come with them. Oh, this looks so good. We recently built raised beds that are like circles. that are really big and white. And this is basically the same thing but a smaller size. And that's also the same thing um, I may build later on today. Are those like longer, more oval shaped i guess oh by the way i can just like talk to y'all while i'm doing this instead of speeding it up um because i do have some ideas that is wind yesterday we had a pretty large storm go by we had tornado uh watch from 6 to 11 but a lot there was a touchdown but I think it was over there like near Charlotte and we are we're not I mean we are like somewhat close I guess depending on how far you drive but not really that close I think Charlotte's an hour and a half away from us or something like that I like this one because it comes the the nuts that you put on the inside come with like basically looks like wings that you can just twist around so you don't really need a screwdriver on the other end to tighten it up which is nice it does have the screwdriver though okay i had to get that first one kind of held in place so that it would make these easier to do. But I have some ideas for gardening. I figured I would share with y'all what my plans are. So I have two of those big circle raised beds that I can put things like bell pepper in. Um, what else? I also thought about doing strawberries because I like strawberries and those beds would be perfect for that. Um, squash zucchini would be great in those and then also 
the longer ones I thought would be great for my tomatoes and then do the, the other one for cucumber because cucumbers run my squash is probably going to take up a whole bed the more space you give the plant the larger it can get and it's going to like absorb all those nutrients instead of having to share with all the other ones so like cucumber it would take up a whole y'all remember when i did the kitty pools i would do one cucumber per pool and those are like big pools um but then lettuce for example which i i i'm on the fence like i'm so nervous to do something like lettuce because i'm afraid that like a random dog or something is gonna go over there and pee on it <laughs> and i i'm like i don't know the amount of like washing you could do to lettuce but here's the thing i'm sure anything we grow at, at our homes all of us is better than what they put in the grocery store um because we don't know like what what process it went through to get to that store all that all that stuff so that's my plan so far tomatoes cucumbers bell pepper and squash Okay, the other thing I wanted to mention to y'all is a lot of you have suggested doing perennials like hostas and things like that, which I love a hosta. Um, and there isn't, like, in our backyard, I feel like that area possibly gets, actually, it probably gets more sun. But there is, like, a shady area over there by the porch where the like electricity box is so i have had hostess there before and i really do like them so i do like that idea um but my thing is i'm wanting to do like a no dig gardening so everything will be in pots or in a raised bed if that makes sense so i'm not sure if that limits me on the perennial aspect or because last year i had mums or no the year before last year i had mums and people said to put them in the ground so they'll come back the next year i never put it in the ground but the roots went through the little plastic pot that they come in and they kind of went to the ground and i don't know if that's what kept the one from dying like you know permanently dying because of course it went dormant and but then the next year it came back and it came back in the in the like early i don't know if it was spring but it was definitely early summer way before you would normally put mums out and i was surprised because I was just being lazy and left it out there. Um, but the one actually came back. The other one didn't come back. But I think that's because when I was moving them, I um, definitely damaged the roots on the one. So now I'm curious if y'all have, um, if you do perennials, but you do it in pots and like raised beds. How has that worked for you? What do you do? Do you... Because... If we get another building... Because I've thought about getting a building for me to put stuff in. Um, after we get rid of the old one, we possibly will put a different one there. I don't think it will be as big as the one Erin has. I really just want like a smaller one. But if he wants a big one, that's fine too. Anyway, I'm trying to like do two things at once. And also, I don't know, my left from my right, 
I just saw, oh, I know who that was. I was like, what did I just see? I thought it was an Amazon person, but it was my neighbor leaving. He has a moped. Okay. So yeah, perennials and planters, do you take the plants and then store them in a shed during the months that it's going to be, you know, really cold, like frosted over? Or do you just leave them as if they were rooted in the ground and then they just come back the next year? Because that would be awesome. If that is what they do, that'd be great. Because I don't know if I just got lucky with that one mom or if that's just... A thing like maybe you don't have to put them in in the uh, what do you call it in the ground I'm so silly also some of the people around our neighborhood have these really pretty bushes like this one lady has this most fiery red bush it gets super super red first like spring around this time it's the brightest red ever and then during the summer it kind of tones down to more like a burgundy color um and i think that's really pretty so and here's the thing y'all there have been many years when aaron was working we we did we did good um but when he quit and it was just me there for a while it was just like basic needs met that's it so there wasn't a lot of like going shopping and doing things and anytime i did go to lowe's and buy something it was like one one or two things and that's it so this is the first year where there is no like stress about it and i can set a budget you know because obviously like no matter what your income level is it's always good to like know where your money is going so that you're not just wasting it on frivolous things but having the flowers and plants and shrubs and all those things in our yard it's something that's like almost like an investment i think so i'm really excited to actually go this year and be able to pick out if i want to buy a bush I can buy a bush or if someone was mentioning fruit trees and I was like oh my goodness I would love to do some fruit trees um I don't think we can do oranges here because I think it get, the climate's not we're not close enough to like Florida maybe I don't know but I'm pretty sure we could do apples which would be really fun um but also, like, I don't know how many years does, do you have to have a fruit tree before the, the tree starts producing fruit. But I think it would be cute to have, like, a mini little orchard in the backyard. Because we have such a big backyard and it's just basically flat. No trees or anything back there. So it's the perfect area to have a tree. And if I'm going to have a tree, it's let's have a bear or something right that we can eat that'd be good i don't know it just it's gonna be exciting also i have thought of i've thought of bunnies <laughs> and i've thought of chickens um and my mom has bunnies so and i'm thinking about us visiting them during the summer either june or August because my friend invited me to do 4th of July over at her house so we would be traveling for that um, so I don't know if if it's like too close together to because I told my mom maybe like June so I either do June or August for my mom and then July for the 4th of July which we were also talking about when are you going to decorate for the patriotic stuff? Both of us like that kind of stuff. And I was telling her, I honestly, like, I want to do it in May. Y'all know if you've been here for a while, oh my goodness. I normally do 
our 4th of July stuff maybe like June because I always decorate for summer in May um, but this year I don't want to separate it I just want to do my summer decor be like patriotic Americana decor so I'm excited okay to recap and I'm gonna do the rest of this off camera that way we're not just sitting here forever um, can you do perennials in pots without putting them in the ground because I don't want to dig and if so do you have to store them on the off season or can they just stay would love to know all right y'all garden beds are done or flowers I'm gonna put flowers in here and since these are so big I can put so many different varieties of flowers they're gonna look so so pretty um i think i'm gonna go ahead and just sit them out there uh because i have an idea of where i want to put them anyways oh yeah okay so i'm gonna have these here and i am gonna get more bricks but i am just going to like i have it circular like that i'm gonna like take this one and move it a little bit more where it just goes like a diagonal straight that way so we'll have a little bit more space through here um, but I like this obviously I'll spread this stuff out more and everything but see how that one's going to there and not like straight straight this way it's going out that way a little bit more so I'll just get some more bricks for that and um I have some planters also that hang um, that are also green that will be in this area too but my original idea was to take the bricks and go all the way over there but I think for this year it I'll just I'll just kind of do it in chunks and then next season I'll just extend it you know also here's our little thing I'm going to put plants in that too and I'm going to paint this a fun color. I like the idea of the teal color. Like a really fun bright blue color. So once the shed's gone I can put our garden right here. Because um, a lot of this is already kind of dead from where the lawnmowers and stuff were over here. Or, okay, where that trailer is, which all that stuff's going to be... In the dumpster in a couple of weeks um this is where i've had it before my garden so we'll figure it out but that all that grass is kind of already grown up now so i don't know i may put it where this shed is and our water our water hose is right over there all right this is the shelf i was talking about that aaron was putting together looks good can't wait to see what he does with it um he can use it to put he, he's probably either going to put it in the office where all of our um project stuff is and put some of that stuff on here like our paints and everything or um he could put this in the shed and put some of his stuff on there hi it's time to feed all of the animals <laughs> And then I've got to cook dinner for us, too. Aaron has been working on the building. Uh, he got this shed, uh, this shed in here. He got this shelf in here. <laughs> um, all of his stuffs are on those shelves. And then he's got that stuff over there. Um, he's still working on this right here, but... Um, He's got music on in the background, but this is a, what we call a working shed. So I know some people use sheds and just kind of use it as a storage room. So they just kind of use all the square footage of the shed they can. But with this, Aaron wants to be able to move around in here, like have some space to sit down and do stuff. So that's why we leave all of this open and we just use the stuff on the sides 
but I love that we have this shelf in here now because it frees up even more floor space for him and he can put stuff on the shelf. All right, y'all, it is after seven o'clock. That's why <laughs> it's getting dark. Um, I'm about to go put this rug in the office. All right, here it is. Look how pretty. Love the pink. I also like how the brown tones in here match our floor. I had a piece of paper on the floor. That's nice. So it's like an oval shape. Oh, I gotta go change my battery. So I've just got it being held down to kind of get the little rolls out of it. Um, but I love this. I, always, I did want like a not a rectangle, you know, for the office. And this is the perfect size too. Oh, you're gonna love it. The girls are all three over in here whenever I am editing and it, it takes me a few hours in this room. So they always like to get cozy in here with me. Fun. I did see it's from rugs.com. I'll link it. Uh, I'll link it in the description box. Okay, y'all, we have some leftover stuff we need to get through. Some Velveeta from Easter. <laughs> I think it would be fine. I mean, it's highly processed, I'm sure. I'm sure it could last a long time. I've got tortilla shells. We just cooked that big pack of hamburger meat. I don't remember if I showed y'all. It was when I went the other day, and it was like only $10. It was on sale. I don't remember if I showed y'all that haul or not. But we have this left over. So what I'm going to do is heat up the Velveeta, mix it with our meat in a bowl, and then put them in the tortilla shells with, and then mix some salsa in there too. My friend Megan was saying uh, she does the Velveeta with the meat too. So I figured, hey, that's a good idea. Let's do it. Oh, it just does not do it justice. It's actually pink over there, like hot pink. And I'm like, God loves color too, doesn't he? <laughs> color everywhere. I promise I'll hush <laughs> about that. Okay. I'm just, I had to melt the, the cheese a little bit so I could mix it in these. I thought, why? I get a big bowl when I can just use the glass dishes that come in. All right, y'all, dinner is ready. It's just the taco meat, the salsa, the Velveeta cheese, and then I put some shredded cheese on the top. I think it was probably in the oven for like 10 minutes because I did preheat the meat to melt the cheese. Wanted to give y'all an update on today's list. The only things we didn't get to was the door frame, hanging baskets, uh, and the vents. And then I do have more raised garden beds that I need to build. So we'll just do more stuff um, for Saturday's video. Never mind, Monday's video. Tomorrow is a collab, it's a Sunday reset.